Alright, we're going to start loading these uh, 9mm 125 grain cast bullets. Um, I have them over here powder coated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load them up. Uh, I already have my cases flared and I have them uh, primed, primered and flared so uh, they're just ready to load up cards and seat. I'm going to use my my lead bench mounted press here. It's, uh, yeah, it's not a progressive press, but it works well and it fits my bench. Um, I'll be using CFE pistol powder, and I will be using uh, 4.5 grains. Now the book says hydrogen's loading data says 4.4 for the for this velocity and this pressure. So it might run a little bit higher because I'm going to add about a tenth of a grain. And I go from there. Uh, bullet diameter is 3.56. And I uh, have my uh, charge, my powder charger loaded up right here. And um, we're going to start seating some bullets. So I'm going to figure out my charge. And when I get it set, and then I'll uh, show you what it measures out to. And then we'll start uh, seating it. We'll charge it. We're going to charge some cases right now. With uh, I've already charged a few of them. With 4.5 grains of hydrogen CFE pistol powder. Um, it is a kind of slow burning powder, but uh, for like 124, 125 grains, uh, you probably you, you know you can. People say that you know to use a faster burning powder, but CFE I've been using it for about a year, haven't had any issues with it. I've used it on everything from uh, 90 grain on up to 142 grain. Never had no issues. Accuracy is good. Um, let me show you what I'm loading here. Yeah, this is a little uh, painstaking here, especially with this. Let's see, zeroed out. Right there, 4.5 grains, right on the money. Now, hydrogen's loading data says, I copied it down, it says for 125 grains, you want to use 4.5, it's supposed to be 4.4 grains, and the velocity and the pressure are for 4.4 grains, but I went ahead and, uh, went ahead and added a tenth of a grain, so as soon as I run through the chronograph, I'll change the velocity, will be changing. And the pressure as well. There's the bullet diameter, 356. And uh, I'm gonna load up a few of them, and then we're gonna see them and crimp them. Probably put a light crimp on them, and then uh, we'll head to the range. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> now we're gonna see them to uh, 1.125 inches. Get this one out here. We'll run a couple of them and we'll check them. You come up just a little short. It's really long, let me show you. There's just about three thousandths shy. It probably won't make much of a difference, but we're gonna reset that a little bit. Just a hair. That's still shootable. That's uh, just a hair. Make sure. 
sure it's nope. Zero it out real quick. Alright, that one's good. What I normally do is I'll turn it around a little bit, make sure it'll go down in there even. Okay, that looks good. Didn't see it down all the way. Now let's check it. You see that? One point fifty. That even there. Oh. Okay, I'll show it again right there. Point one two five zero. Right on the money. Right there. All right, we'll run a couple more. Oops. <laughs> Got the case. Can't get these damn things safe through the calipers. Okay, there you go, right there. Another 1250. One point, I'm sorry, 1.125. See it far enough. So the thing about these round noses, boy, you gotta try to get them right there on right on the nose. Okay, that's another one. See that there? Alright, well, I'm going to seat the rest of these and then I'm going to put a light crimp on them and uh, then it's time to go shooting. Alright, we got everything uh, loaded, seated, and crimped. 
Um, it's getting a little late today, so I probably won't be able to go to the range probably until tomorrow before work. So uh, I'll show the video of me shooting and uh, show you the accuracy.